All right, in this video, I just want to do a couple questions related to, uh, in this case, to tangent of x. And we're going to ask ourselves, what's the period of tangent x, and what are the zeros of tangent x? So I think probably the easiest way to address this is just to remember the graph. And again, to get this graph, you could plot points, um, whatever you want to do. Um, so tangent of x, remember, we can define that to be sine of x over cosine x. Well, maybe we can answer the second part, uh, you know, the second question first. We want to figure out the zeros of tangent x. Well, again, I go back to the unit circle. I'm really always thinking about this circle and sort of the definitions of sine and cosine. Anywhere cosine of x equals zero, we would get something over zero, which would be undefined. So whenever the denominator, whenever cosine equals zero, that's actually where we're going to get, uh, in this case, vertical asymptotes. Well, cosine has to do with the x-coordinate on the unit circle. And certainly that's going to happen at pi over 2. Cosine of pi over 2 equals 0. So we're going to end up getting 0 in the denominator of our fraction if we plugged in pi over 2. And again, that just means we have an asymptote here at pi over 2. Likewise, um, if we went to the bottom of the circle, uh, that would be another place where cosine equals 0. One way to describe that angle would be the angle negative pi over 2. So likewise, if we plug negative pi over 2 into the denominator, uh, we'll get cosine of negative pi over 2, which will be 0. So that's kind of how I remember these sort of uh, first, you know, as you leave the origin, where, where would be the first place you hit these vertical asymptotes? And then again, you can always plot points. If you plug in 0, tangent of 0 would be sine of 0 over cosine of 0, which is 0 over 1. You know, for example, at pi over 4, sine and cosine have the same value, so you'll be at positive 1. And then they just... Uh, as you get, as you plug in numbers closer and closer to pi over 2, from the left, a little bit smaller, uh, tangent is just going to go off to positive infinity. And then as you go sort of the other direction to negative pi over 2, it's going to go off to, towards negative infinity. Um, let's see here. And then it just uh, keeps repeating itself. So if you think about th this, uh, let's see, so here's uh, 0, pi over 2, this would be pi. Uh, the next asymptote would be at 3 pi over 2. And then again, just the graph of tangent just sort of uh, repeats itself. So to figure out the period again, um, just repeats and repeats. So to figure out the period, all we have to do is think about, you know, what's this sort of uh, distance, you know, how far do you have to go before the graph starts repeating? Well, for example, if you go from negative pi over 2 to positive pi over 2, that's going to be a distance of pi. So we would say that the period in this case is pi. Okay. What are the zeros of tangent x? Well, notice at x equals 0, we get a 0. At pi, we'll get a 0. This would be negative pi, we would get another 0. So 1 pi, 2 pi, 3 pi, 4 pi, negative 1 pi, negative 2 pi, negative 3 pi, etc. So the way we can write the zeros, so 0, positive negative 1 pi, positive negative 2 pi, positive negative 3 pi, well, the way we'll write that is we'll say the zeros are at n times pi, where n is an integer. So remember, integers are just 0 plus minus 1 plus minus 2 plus minus 3, etc. So that would be a little formula for the zeros of our tangent function.